Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is give up your old ways. This is the first series of 12 teachings that will show you how you come out of the world out of Babylon and how to establish a dwelling place of Zion. Today is the first teaching and it is about give up your old ways. The first step in coming out of the world and out of Babylon is to examine yourself. See what are your old ways? Are you still going to partying on the weekend? Are you still smoking? Are you still drinking? Are you still fornicating or doing adultery or are addicted in excess to porn sites or having a lot of immorality or many, many other ways? Are you making your family an idol? Are you celebrating pagan festivals like Halloween and Christmas and Easter and all this. These are old ways that are, will bind you in, your, in, in the world. Or about your career. Are you career focused? Because you want to be higher, higher and earning more and more. Are you focused on money, on riches, on your wealth? These are all things that will bind you in the world. And these are all things that the enemy will use to enslave you and to hold you back and to let you run on the broad path and not the narrow path. These are the old ways that you have to change, that you have to let go. This is your old life that must die. You must come out of it and let it die and you have to bury it as deep as possible so that you do not return to it. So in our first topic today about coming out of the world, it is examine yourself, have a look, what are your old ways? Are they conforming to heaven or are they in the world? And if they're in the world, then cut them one by one, one by one, one by one might be a longer process, but you can do it. Cut them out, bury them as deep as possible. Then clean your old life and start a new life. Start a new life on the narrow and righteous path, with both legs in the heavenly realm, with both legs on the heavenly purpose. If you are, for example, bound in a lukewarm church, where you can see that they tolerate everything, that is also a great danger. Come out of this church because you will, you yourself as a church, we have a separate teaching for that, and you will establish your own assembly in your own house, a dwelling place of Zion. The church is not bound to a building, nor to any doctrine, nor to any religion. We will come to that in the later teaching. Examine your old ways first. Make a list. These are my problem area and then work one by one, one by one. If you have finished one, tick it off. Then go to the next one. Finish this one, tick it off. Come out of your old life. If you need help with that, please contact me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com and I can give you some help and advice how I did it myself. I am not smoking, I am not drinking, I am what? I am not want to boost, but I have come a long, long way, long way through the wilderness where the Lord has refined me, a long way. And you will do the same and you will come out pure and you will come out spotless and without wrinkle, a bride to be considered by the Lord. So make that list, come out of this old ways and bury your old life first. That is the first teaching. Your old ways must be examined and it must change so that you come from the broad path to the narrow path. 
I hope you have understood and you like this topic today. And I would like to see you again for the next teaching tomorrow. We have a total of 12 teachings about it. Because people ask me, how do you come out of the world? Now this was the first today. Examine your old ways, change them, bury the old life, and then start a new life in Christ Jesus. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today, and I hope it helped you. And I will see you again with a continuation tomorrow with the next topic. Please consider to help the ministry, not even with, not necessarily with money. Just follow the link in the first print comment and sign up and register there. It's important that you sign up and register. It has no obligations. There's no money required. There's nothing required from you. No purchases, no anything. Just follow that link in the first pin comment and sign up and register. When you do that, we receive $10. That will help us with our mission in Cambodia to help the poor people, the poor children, especially now the, the girl with the problem with the legs. I think you have seen it on our website of Triple Grace Charity that there is a big problem. And we are asking all of you to come together and help, especially in this season of the remembrance of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So have a look at this first pink comment, follow that link and sign up register. Please, that's important. You must sign up and register. Even if you do not want to use it later, just do it for Triple Chris. Just do it for me. Sign up and register one time and then forget about it. Thank you that you are helping us. I love you all so dearly and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.